Hey everyone, it's 4th of July weekend, and that means it's the beginning of summer, and it's also one of the most difficult times for us cool season lawn folks to maintain our lawn. If you're new to lawn care, there's going to be two issues you're going to face over the next couple of months, and that is disease and drought. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can easily manage these two issues. In order to manage disease properly, you want to follow sound cultural practices. And by that, I mean you want to mow frequently with sharp lawn mower blades. This will prevent frayed grass tips, leading to a more resilient grass plant. Proper watering is another disease management strategy. If you water in the morning, it'll give your lawn a chance to absorb that water without burning off in the afternoon sun. If you water in the evening, your lawn's gonna sit overnight for 12 hours, and that's gonna be an ideal condition for fungus to develop in your turf. Another consideration is not to over fertilize your lawn. Otherwise, you're gonna stress out your lawn and you're gonna reduce the resiliency of your lawn to fight off disease. This won't guarantee that you won't get disease, and in that case, you're gonna have to use a fungicide to fight off the disease in your lawn. This can be as simple or complicated as you wanna make it, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep it relatively simple. There are two wide spectrum fungicides available that you can pick up at any hardware store, and they are Disease X and Bio Advanced. They're both really easy to use. You can also buy the active ingredients in a generic, less expensive form online in the form of azoxystrobin and propiconazole. This of course is a bit more complicated and requires a sprayer. By following the suggested intervals on the label, you should be able to manage disease in your lawn without a problem. Our second summer strategy is proper watering. Ideally, you wanna get an inch of rain a week. You can use a rain gauge to keep track of how much rain you get. And if you're not getting any rain, you can water your lawn twice a week, putting down a half inch of rain each time. I use the rain gauge to measure the output of the sprinkler just to make sure I'm getting the proper water down. Some areas in your lawn may need more water than what you're putting out with the sprinkler, and those you can hand water. And those spots typically tend to be around driveways and sidewalks and along the road. If you don't want to water that much, you can let your lawn go brown and dormant. However, you should water at least every two weeks, otherwise you run the risk of losing that grass plant and it won't recover when cooler temperatures show up in September. If you follow these strategies, you shouldn't lose any turf this summer. And come September, when cooler temperatures do show up, you should be way ahead of everyone else in your neighborhood. I've listed the products that I use in the description below. If you have anything to add or any strategies that you use, let me know in the comments below.